This video will show how to use the Feature Construction Toolpath in the PowerMill Additive plugin. Before creating a Feature Construction Toolpath, there are some modelling considerations. Features must have open faces on the bottom as well as a closed base surface. If we look at how this model is split, it has a base surface which is closed beneath each feature. The pads, flanges and bosses are each on a layer of their own for easy selection. The remaining surfaces of the starting part are on a level named Other. The pad tops are also used as a base surface to create the bosses, so they are on a set which is shown here. These levels and sets, as well as the nature of the surfaces themselves, provide the basis for our feature construction toolpaths. Feature construction toolpaths are PowerMill entities and as such can be recycled after calculation. There are three styles of strategy to choose from when constructing a feature. Raster, Offset and Profile. There is an example of each on this component. The pads are constructed with a raster type strategy. Once the style of path is chosen, the type of base surface it's being constructed on can be specified. There are four types of surface on which a feature can be constructed. Plane, cylinder, surface of revolution, and arbitrary surface. This path is constructed on a cylinder and the surface is selectable beneath. The next step is to select the surfaces that make up the feature. Bead width is the width of the material that will be laid down. The step over in this case is less than the bead width so that the molten material overlaps and doesn't leave any gaps. Showing the rest of the model geometry, it is clear that the bosses are directly in the way of the pads and as such have to be set to ignore in the machining mode dialog. Under feature construction, there are options to control both the raster parameters and layering. Set up the desired raster. In this case, there is a two-way raster starting at the minimum X position, moving across the component and working around in an anti-clockwise direction. In the layering dialog, there is the ability to start the path above the base by specifying an offset. Feature extent can also be controlled from here by selecting number of layers, height above base or feature extent. Finally, layer thickness can be changed. Give a default layer size for all layers or set layer thicknesses individually. The result is a raster strategy that constructs all of the pads onto the cylinder which can be altered using the regular toolpath editing tools within PowerMill. For example, this path has been set up to use a bounding cylinder for its safe moves and on-part link moves have been applied. To construct the bosses on this part, the second type of feature construction path will be employed. Opening the bosses toolpath form, you'll notice that the build style has been changed to use an offset of the feature shape. The base type has remained a cylinder, as the pad tops, when joined, form a cylinder. Bosses have been selected as the geometry for construction, and the bead and step over have been set. Opening the offset form, there is an option to define a drive curve. Use either the region perimeter, the medial axis of the feature, or create your own pattern. Beneath, you can select the direction of offset and control the start points. Once calculated, we can now see that the two sets of features have been built, the pads using a raster pattern and the bosses by an offset toolpath. The third and final kind of feature construction path is Profile. As its name suggests, this path creates a profile path of any selected feature. The last set of features to be constructed are the flanges. Select flanges in the feature construction dialog and then change the style to Profile. When changing to Profile, an extra drop down appears for Tool Axis. This allows you to change the toolpath to be towards the base surface normal or towards the previous layer. In the profile dialog, you can choose a number of offsets to apply, or define this from the feature edges by selecting and inputting a distance. 
Hide the flanges to reveal a profile pass of the walls of the feature. This video has shown how to build features from feature construction in three ways, using a raster pattern, an offset, and a profile. 